a patch potentially happening for Flight 3 on Reach for PC as we do have a Twitch Rivals event happening for Halo. HCS Grassroots is currently on hold until further notice and the future of Halo Infinite Esports talked about in this video. Stay tuned out the whole thing to understand all the details. <music> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news commentary when it comes to Halo. Today we're talking about a little bit more on the competitive side of things today, but it could also potentially mean a update for the flight on PC. So if you guys are involved with that flighting program, this could be very important for you guys to know about as well. So make so if you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this video as well as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel, let's stay up to date with everything going on with Halo. Make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourselves up to date with everything going on in the community. So let's get right into the video here. Well, we recently celebrated the fifth year of HCS, the Halo Championship Series. It's basically helping to promote the competitive side of Halo, but much more than just that. It also involves a bit of building up these communities together that kind of help lift up the competitive Halo side of things, as well as just people getting more people to play the game and generally as a whole. And I say for the most part, they've done a pretty good job. Ever since HCS has been around, I've only seen improvements happening to the competitive side of Halo. Obviously there've been some ups, there've been some downs, but currently I think things are really on the up right now for the competitive side of Halo. And Tashi, who is the lead of HCS, recently put up a big, huge post of a blog, kind of giving the outline of what we're gonna be looking forward to when it comes to HCS moving forward. As we do know, we do have the DreamHack Atlanta event coming uh, the weekend of the 15th, 16th, and 17th, uh, but that will get more details when that event comes around. Uh, they talk more about uh, things kind of talking about like Halo Infinite. What's the plan of that happening? Well, currently they're in the talks with many uh, organizations to help lift up the esport of Halo, try to get teams ready day one when that game comes out. And when that game does come out, they have a year long roadmap Okay, so you can have a chance to understand what's happening with HCS, what can we plan, and hopefully you know, it help out teams when it comes to organizing team uh, players being sent around, and also help out the fans such as myself to plan out whenever I would like to go to an event, because if you guys have ever had a chance to make it to an HCS event, it's 100% worth it. It's so much fun. I've been to a couple actually, and every time it's been a blast. So I'm really glad to see Tashi and the HDS team reaching out to these various organizations because these organizations will be the lifeblood of EA Sports for Halo to really succeed as we have to get some big brand names like Envious, uh, Optic hopefully coming back in there as well and various other teams which I'm sure they all have an interest in competitive Halo. I'm sure they can find players for those teams as well of grow the sport a little bit more and get a little more competition because you know even though tox is fantastic it's getting a little boring seeing the win all the time so hopefully get a little more competition coming in and also in this blog post i do mention about the hcs grassroots program now it's not only just content creators which we've probably become more accustomed to knowing about but also uh growing those communities outside the u.s uh, utilizing probably the grassroots program to help build up these communities of holding on tournaments and getting more people to play the game and hopefully reach out beyond just the US which Halo traditionally has been a very heavy US focused uh, franchise so hopefully trying to build that up a little bit especially over in the EU and also talking about grassroots guys I'm talking about the content creators which I personally signed up for I was really hoping that, I was really thinking like maybe I'll get an update and see if I got in and uh, currently, right now, the HCS Grassroots for Content Creators is currently on hold. Just right from the blog here, saying starting soon and continuing the future, however, the program will take some larger changes that we're not quite ready to talk about in detail just yet. What you can say is that for the Content Creators part of the program, we're looking to broaden our partnership with the community. There are many creators out there who make more things than just video content. And there are many creators out there who focus on things outside of competitive Halo. Because of this shift, we're putting a brief pause and adding new content creators to the HCS grassroots program for the time being. So when I read this, I was a little bummed. Yes, I was hoping to get it added in. Obviously, there's a, really, a lot of competition when it comes to getting into this content creator grassroots program. And so I was a little bummed not get added in. 
Uh, but no one's getting added in right now because we're currently putting on hold. But I think this is actually going to be a benefit to the community as we do have a lot of really good content creators within the Halo community right now. And I think utilizing people who have uh, social media influences through grassroots really helps out that uh, growth of getting more people to play Halo. So it sounds like what they're doing putting a pause, doing a little bit of a rework, and seeing if we can actually add more people in. Uh, there's so much more stuff to go into. I think uh, maybe if they try to maybe turn it around to where maybe put more of the burden of trying to again, be active in the community on the content creators rather than HCS themselves trying to do the whole thing, I think that's probably a good way to kind of weed out the people who are truly active in the community and want to be involved with the grassroots program. So still, hopefully there is a chance for your guy right here to get involved with the grassroots program. I'm hoping so as well because uh, I, you know, I just love this community and I think it's one of the best gaming communities out there and I would love to hopefully be a part of it. Uh, talking about being part of different various communities, we have an awesome event coming up for Twitch specific event coming for Halo, Halo Reach on PC. And it's going to be the Twitch Rivals uh, event going to be happening on November 12th. Uh, where you basically, if you guys don't know what Twitch Rivals is, is that they're going to be uh, four captains creating teams playing with the top pros and streamers that probably, I think probably play, looks like they're going to be playing against each other Halo Reach on PC and will go live on November 12th on, on twitch.tv slash Twitch Rivals. This is going to be absolutely huge. Twitch Rivals usually does this whenever something new happens. They did this for Apex when that game came out, like within the first, like definitely within the first month of that game being released, which was uh, really great to see. It really helps build up a lot more hype and more people gain views on the game itself. Now we have announced the captains of the various teams. We have Snipe Down, T Squared, Fear itself and Lethal going to be a part of the captains of putting some teams together. Now, the official teams themselves have not been announced quite yet, since this is very fresh news. Uh, the day I'm making this video is on November 7th, the same day they announced this. So as they, uh, we get more details about this, we will definitely move forward on about uh, letting you guys know exactly what's going on with that. But making partnerships with Twitch on PC for Halo, it's just gonna get more people excited, more eyes on this whole thing. So exactly what we need in the Halo community to get more people excited about this, get more people wanting to play Halo Reach on PC. It's huge for so many streamers. So putting together a fun kind of pro-am kind of competition on Twitch to kind of give you like, who's the best of all streamers on Twitch when it comes to playing Halo Reach. So I'm really excited about this event. Now, we do know there are some issues right now with the flighting program right now for Halo Reach on PC. This is what I was talking about earlier about how there might be a patch coming soon as well, we do know there is a patch in the works right now. There is no date set about when it's going to be released. Though this event happens on the very last day as soon as the flighting program for Flight 3 extension ends where for now that's at least what the schedule is uh this event starts now i'm assuming by the time either by the end of this week or starting during sometime next week we will have a patch that will hopefully improve the inputs when it comes to using mouse and keyboard because right now for multiplayer it feels bad as an input delay it doesn't work out very well playing with the controller is the way to play this reach flight right now because it, it's not because you're bad at using mouse and keyboard it's something up with the controls themselves so hopefully we get a patch on that and very stability patch as patches as well would be a really a uh, huge improvement because if you're trying to throw on an event in front of thousands of people trying to watch this you don't want the game to crash and so you want some good stability there now i've been having crashing issues but of course my pc is a bit struggling trying to stream this and play it at the same time all on the same hardware so that could be just be on my end but i have seen other people have some crashes and some freezes with the game as well so i'm assuming before the 12th of November, we will have that Halo Reach patch that will hopefully make the game play a lot better for everybody. Fingers crossed on that one. So you guys, that's going to do it for the video today. We had some good talks about the HCS. We got Twitch Rivals happening, which I'm super excited about, and a potential patch coming in for Halo Reach to hopefully fix a lot of the issues currently going on with Flight 3. 
If you guys like these news informational videos and want to stay up to date with everything going with Halo, make sure to tap that like button as that really helps get this video more notoriety, helps the community stay up to date with everything going on in Halo. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the topics we discussed in this video. I'd like I said, do read all the comments here. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything going on with Halo, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell to keep you updated with everything going on within the Halo community. And if you're new to the channel or missing any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.